The Islanders take on the Tampa Bay Lightning tonight with four games left in their season and with three teams chasing wild card spots all in action tonight. Ethan Sears is a New York Post Islanders beat writer, and he's here to talk all things Isles. Glad we caught you before you head on over to uh, UBS Arena. There are four games left in the regular season, and the Islanders sit in the second wild card spot behind the Panthers, but they're just ahead of the Penguins. So how does New York keep on pace or even edge out these teams to make it to the postseason? Well, first of all, Brandon, thanks so much for having me. Uh, always glad to come on. Um, and uh, right now with the Islanders, their only choice is to is to win games. Um, all, all three of these teams, the Islanders, uh, Penguins, and Panthers, they've all got four games left, and the Islanders – have a, they have a pretty navigable schedule here. Uh, they've got Tampa tonight with the Lightning around the second end of a back-to-back, -back, uh, so they should avoid Andre Vasilevsky uh, in goal. And then their last three games are all against teams that have been eliminated. So the bar for them is probably to win three of, the, three of these last four, and then they should be safe. And given the schedule, that's probably a pretty feasible goal. You mentioned the Lightning coming in town tonight. You mentioned Andre Vasilevsky. How do these two teams match up, and what do the Isles need to do to get that W, man? Well, the Islanders have struggled pretty badly against Tampa recently. Uh, their last win against the Lightning was all the way back in Game 6 of the 2021 NHL semifinal. Uh, they lost to them 5-0 in Florida on Saturday. Uh, but the good news, like I said, is that Tampa played a, a very intense game against the Rangers last night. Um, Vasilevsky probably won't be in, in net. They'll probably see Brian Elliott. Um, so... If the Islanders can can establish a forecheck early, if they can wear them down a little bit and maybe take advantage of the fact that they've they've had three days since their last game, they're well rested, then they should have, you know, a pretty good a fighter's chance tonight. All right, let's talk about the injuries, though. They're struggling when it comes to players being hurt, namely uh, Matt Barzal and uh, Alexander Romanov. So what's the latest on these two? And if they remain out, can this team make it to the playoffs without them? Well, neither player practiced yesterday, so it would be a pretty big surprise to see either one of them in the lineup tonight. Um, Barzal has started to skate on his own. Uh, he started that over the weekend, which is a hugely positive sign. Uh, but the Islanders have uh, been pretty steadfast in avoiding uh, putting a timeline on it. And it's a little bit hard to see him getting back for the end of the regular season. Uh, that's just six days from now, and he hasn't skated with the team yet. Uh, as for Romanov, uh, it's a little bit of a murkier situation because the injury was more recent. Um, he went down against Tampa on Saturday, came back to the game, uh, seemed to finish, finished it, said he was okay, and then the next night was out. Um, he's being called day to day, uh, but the Islanders have used that term pretty liberally, and he also hasn't skated with the team. So, again, a little bit unclear. Um, I do think that they can probably get to the finish line here either way um but it is it's been a very tight race the whole way it's going to be a very tight finish and their margin for error is very very small it seems like the theme for all new york uh sports teams is next man up you know with everyone injured mm -hmm. but uh tonight the islanders lightning 7:30 at ubs arena ethan thanks for joining us thanks so much brandon